Hello boys and girls, welcome to Glitter and Glue with me, your host, Ms. Tran. Today I have a science demonstration for you that you can follow along with at home. Um, it's pretty simple. All you're going to need is a plain um, plastic bag. I find the bigger ones work better for this experiment, but I have just a sandwich size one. So we'll see how it goes. Then you are going to need water. Just plain water. Um, I have these little barbecue skewers I'm going to be using, but you can also use like sharpened color pencils, sharpened regular pencils, doesn't matter. But they do need to be sharp. If they're dull, it will not work as well, and you might end up with a mess. So, sharp is better. Now, because I like the drama, I like to add food coloring to the water. Now, I don't have any food coloring. So I have this old marker that was otherwise deemed useless. And we are going to just mix the marker in with the water and the color should wash out. Starting to go. All right. All right, nice pretty pink for today. We'll do it. All right, save this for later. <laughs> Spray myself in the face. Okay, now our first step is to carefully, without making a huge youngest mess, pour the water into the bag. Ooh. All right, now we don't need it completely full. There can be still a little air, but you need to make sure there's enough room to seal it. So we're gonna seal our bag nice and tight just to prevent Bills. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is how I can put a skewer or a pencil through the bag without spilling the water. <laughs> Let's see. All right, pointy side. Let's do this. Yay! All right, so we got one in and we've got no leaks. That's good. Now, when you're doing this at home, you wanna make sure you go straight in. If you wiggle it around, like I did earlier today, you will actually <laughs> mess up the um, experiment by moving, like when you move it around too much, it'll make a big fat spill. And I'll explain why in a second. Okay, let's see. Okay, another skewer. I'm starting to get a little drips from wiggling it. This is where it comes in when you have the bigger, um, thicker plastic bags, it helps. Okay, so let me add one pencil inside. Okay, let's see how this goes. Testing fate here. Ah! Okay, I've got a few leaks, but not too bad. So as you can see, they're all the way through and I'm not having that many leaks, which is great. So to explain what's happening, um, first of all, we have to understand that plastics are a polymer. Now polymer is just a big fancy word to say that the molecules form, well, they're, <laughs> see, I try to explain these things and then they end up complicated. Polymers are long chains of molecules. So all things are made of molecules. So with polymers, the long strains of molecules are moved out of the way by the skewer, the pencil, what have you. So they're moved out of the way, but then they try to reseal themselves so they get really tight up against the um, wood of the pencil. Okay, so all those strains are moved out of the way and they try to seal it tight like a little vacuum. Now, what happens if you take the pencil out? I'll show you. This is where the mess comes. So, <laughs> and that's why you need a bucket. So as you can see, I removed all the skewers, but those polymers, those polymer chains, have already been moved out of the way permanently. They can't reseal themselves because I already squished them out of the way with the pencils. So that makes a big fat hole and a big fat spill. <laughs> um, my challenge to you is I only put 
Let's see, four. I only had three skewers and one pencil through my bag. If you are one of my students, I would love to see video or pictures of you trying this at home and let me know how many pencils you can stick through your bag. All right, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope to be posting more soon. And if you are in my class, I will see you soon. All right, bye-bye.